Okay, the topic for the third week of social work quantitative research is conducting and writing literature reviews. What are we going to be doing online this week? Well, if we look at our syllabus, it says we're dis discussing the initial focus of the project, bringing two or three articles you plan to use in a literature review, and bring a copy of literature review outline for your group. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it online in the asynchronous world. First of all, we have a cooperative research group. That's the groups that you've joined. So everybody's in a group now. I'm happy with that. Everybody has been reported to the financial aid powers that be that you're showing up for class and they're not going to get kicked out of the class and and the university is going to be happy because I submitted that you're showing up. Um, so the final project is where we need to start thinking about what we're doing this week. So um, the final project is a report of the state of cultural competence in social services agencies in the Kansas City region. So that's what we're going to expect on a final paper. So be thinking about that. If you've thought about, oh, I want to, you know, you know, study the biology of of uh, of alcoholism. No, probably not this class. Um, maybe maybe sometime in the future, but not right now. Um, this final report is going to be based on this assessment of organizational cultural competence that you'll be working on throughout the semester, basically gathering some data from, from appropriate places. Um, <clears throat> and in order to do any research project, um, including the one this semester, you'll need to do a literature review. And in order to do a literature review, um, you need to review literature. So, initially, um, your group needs to decide what is going to be your focus of your literature review, uh, not excuse me, of your entire project. What are you going to be looking at? Uh, you may have ideas of what you're interested in looking at already um, that may be related to cultural competence, but if it involves doing a lot of additional survey work, you probably want to hold on to that idea rather loosely until you've had a discussion with your group. Um, there are some specific aspects of cultural competence in organizations that you might be interested in, that would be ideal. So, so get together with your group, look over the survey instrument. That'll give you an idea of what kind of data you will have, and it may also give you some ideas about where do I go in searching for literature. Okay, the syllabus asks us to bring two to three articles you plan to use in the literature review. Okay, um, so each member of the group should, by the end of the week, have two or three articles that they have read on the topic of organizational cultural competence to present to the group. So. Um, these articles may or may not be in the final research report, and they may or may not be related specifically to organizational cultural competence within social services agencies, I should have added. Um, uh, but you want to start to get an idea of what we're talking about with organizational cultural competence to give yourself a set of language around that. Um, 
<clears throat> bring copies of literature review outline for group members. Okay, so to create an outline of your literature review, um, when we're not all going to be sitting around in, you know, 116 Cherry Hall, sipping on a latte and waxing eloquent about research methods, um, but rather you're going to be sitting at home at one in the morning drinking hot cocoa in your jammies. Um, uh, we're going to have to do that differently. So, um, we're going to do that by using wikis. So, in the as asynchronous world, we can do things not all at the same time, but we have to have the same place that we do it at. And so, a wiki is a good place because it's used a lot on collaborative projects in a lot of different areas. Uh, business industry uses it a lot. I kind of wish social services would use it more because it is a good place uh, to share information and do group projects. So, so create a group wiki. Uh, one, you'll want a face page that has links to the rest of the project in it. So within that face page, be sure to insert a table of contents on the face page. It's a good idea while you're kind of getting used to working with wikis to go ahead and set up kind of the whole wiki as it should appear um, to prepare you for your final research report. Uh, so create a, a, a page uh, for every major section of a typical research report. And on the final slide, I'll go over again what those um, um, uh, major sections of a typical research report may include. Um, and finally, on the literature review page, create an outline for a three to five page literature review appropriate to the final research report. Now, all it needs to be is an outline, you know, so, so, you know, you don't need to go deeply into content, but you do need to be familiar enough with the, you got four people in your group, the 12 to 20 pieces of literature um, uh, that you will be talking about. Um, you ought to be familiar enough that you can create an outline of a literature review. Um, so here's my reminder of what a um, outline of a typical research report includes. So create a wiki page, a sub wiki page um, for each of your um, uh, each of these topic areas. So there's always an introduction um, to the uh, research report. Uh, there's a literature review, a research method, there's a findings page, there's a discussion page, a conclusions page, sometimes it's conclusion slash recommendations page, sometimes those are separate pages. Uh, finally there's a references page, that's all in APA format, of course. Uh, and then sometimes uh, research reports will have an appendix that may have um, other information. So there's a couple of quickies on doing wikis for Blackboard here at these YouTube sites. I'm going to post the a PDF of this on Blackboard, so you should be able to just click directly on those those links. Um, uh, you can also just go into YouTube and type in how do I do a wiki in Blackboard. So um, that's all for now. The nice thing about having asynchronous online education is when you get 
entire you, you, you get your instructor in little brief doses like this you don't sit for two and a half hours going oh gosh would he just shut up um, you can watch 10 or 15 minutes of your instructor and then work on something and you can shut me off anytime you want to so anyway let's have a good week remember I have office hours I'm also available by appointment